Andy, this is another one that's just just a cut just around the corner from that other spot. It's, uh, you can see there's lots of it's one of our pretty decent little spawning pools for cohos. Chums don't get this high, but you can get a sense as to maybe just it's always grown in like this. You know, if you look up to the skyline, lots of big old firs, cedars, all the rest of it. And this is a pretty good example. This is a big log that crosses the entire creek. This would be like a dam or a big waterfall. The fish didn't get above this, and then I uh, made it such that they can now. But there's lots of salmon fry that are in this pool here right now. You can have a look at the gravel. I'm just trying to take some of the glare off here for you. That should be better. <laughs> If you look over in there against the sand, there's a whole bunch of coho fry. Some fish that we managed to get to spawn up here last year. It's close, but there's movement. There's one right in the center of the image. I think she has three or four there. About a dozen there, actually, if you're looking real close. So the uh, just like the adults, and I use this particular spot to spawn on the edges. That sandy stuff that they don't like, it's not stable enough, but they'll use this gravel back on these edges. It's one of the problems in this creek, we don't have enough uh, spawning gravel. It all gets pushed up to here. This is actually the perfect size spawning gravel. And the high waters pushes it into the margins. It's, uh, I spent half my time with a shovel pushing it back out in here. <laughs> 